Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and today is Friday. What is today? Today is Dehydration Friday. I've been trying to do a vegetable every week. We're going to try to maybe get into some meats really soon and everything else and trying to give you guys a general idea of how easy this really is to do to dehydrate your vegetables. Now, we always use frozen vegetables it's so much easier. They took out a process as I explained in other videos and everything else. And if you're looking for something to give you some great information and you're just beginning, you just bought your dehydrator with your stimulus money, well, right here is a great book for you to try and see if you can get it. The last time I looked on Amazon, it wasn't available, but maybe it is now, okay? Um, it's called The Beginner's Guide to Dehydrating Food. And I'll try to put a link in the description below to this book right here. This gives you, breaks it down into anything and everything. Spices, fruits, vegetables, meats, you name it, it's in this book. It's a great book. It doesn't cost that much. And it gives you a great idea of what to do for the beginner. Okay? So today we are doing green beans. Our lovely little frozen green beans. All right, now as I did with the carrots and the peas, you take these bags out of the freezer five, 10 minutes before you're about ready to use them. Now, what you wanna make sure that you do is, is you wanna make sure that you try it while they're in the bag. I know this is noisy, I apologize. But you wanna make sure that you're trying to break up any of the ones that are all clumped together. And after they set off for five or 10 minutes, it's relatively simple to do. You don't really have to, you know, get a hammer out or something. So you just take and just go right through them and you can feel, you know, the ones that are frozen together, you can break them right up. Now with your green beans, I've already pre-done my trays. So I've got the screens in them because they're probably going to basically shrink down to nothing and probably fall through all the cracks. Now, the one thing I would say that I did learn, this is a whole learning process, we're learning together. I did learn with the carrots that uh, some of the smaller carrots, they do swivel way up and they do fall all the way through. So if you don't want that to happen, either I would suggest using screens on all your trays or at least a screen in your bottom tray. Now that is the screen that came with my dehydrator. I only received one screen with my dehydrator. So we'll put that bad boy in the bottom. And then all the screens that I did, um, material I bought to use, I put in and cut all these out. And I showed you guys in a video before. So we're gonna start loading up all these green beans here and get these bad boys going. Now, green beans. All right, they go between 10 and 12 hours, okay? Now, you, you do them on 125 degrees Fahrenheit on your machine, and you do them for 10 to 12 hours, you check them out after six to see where you're at, and at that point, you can determine if you're gonna go another four or another six hours. Now, remember with your vegetables and stuff, you know, even if you go the max time, don't worry about over dehydrating them. Uh, this is not meat. This is vegetables, so you don't have to worry about over rehydrating at that point in time. Now, if, if you did them for 20 hours or something, Lord knows what they'd end up like, you know. But, you know, if you go into the max time that it says for whichever vegetable you're doing, you know, you're not going to damage the product where you can't eat it. It will rehydrate eventually when you are putting it into soups, stews, whatever you may be cooking so that you just have to make sure that you do it long enough that they're not moist and they're nice and crunchy and crisp because any moisture that's left in there will basically go bad and contaminate your whole either jar, Marlar bag, vacuum sealed bag, whatever and however you decide to store it, it can contaminate the whole bag and ruin it. So you want to make sure that these things are good and dry before you put them away. All right. So let me get going on this. I'm going to bring you over here. We're going to open up these bags, pour them in here. And then the rest of it is history. 
It is so simple, folks, and it's so inexpensive to do. So, hold on one second, gonna adjust the camera, and we'll be great. We got us ourselves all adjusted around. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start with some green beans. Now these I already went through and broke up most of all the pieces. So all we have to do is just open these up. You need a pair of scissors. And we're going to start pouring these on here. Now, you got to make sure you try to leave space in between these things. You don't want them laying on top of each other. So you got to do a little at a time and spread them out. Because if they're on top of each other, it's uh they won't dehydrate properly so they actually say that you know you should have a little space in between them um, i found that as long as they're not on, on top of each other and you are going almost to the max time frame you will be fine i haven't had a problem yet um, that may be untrue uh, like i said this is a learning process we're all learning together here <clears throat> And just trying to fill in the little holes, trying to maximize my trays here. <clears throat> All right, there's one tray. You just keep pouring them right in just like that. And I'm going to do the rest of these, and I'm not going to bore you with all the, all the footage, and I'll be right there, folks. So as you can see, we filled up all the trays. Now we just have to put them all back on here. All right, so we're just going to take and load all these right back up here. So we got all our trays all ready to go. There we go. You just make sure that they're down there good and tight. I'm going to get the lid, put these on. We're going to do them for 10 hours to start with. We'll check them after 6, and I may adjust the time at that point, but I'll let you know tomorrow morning exactly what I did do. And the trick to this is do them overnight. So this way here, if you can check them before you go to bed, and then they'll be done in the morning, then you can put them away. They'll be cool, and you can store them right away. So we're going to get these green beans going, and I will see you all in the morning. Remember... 125 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 hours. Check them after 6. Here we go. All right, good morning, everyone. And guess what? The dehydrator is all done. I did end up dehydrating these for 11 hours total. So, as you can see, when I take the lid off, they do dehydrate down really, really small. So you want, definitely want to make sure that you are using your screens when you are doing this because if not, they'll all be at the very bottom of your trays. So let's just take a look here. As you can see, they all look like they did really, really well here, folks. Now I'm going to guess that we're barely going to fill up half of this large mouth jar with four bags of frozen green beans. So, I'm gonna get packing, pack it all into here, and we're gonna show you the end product. Once again, if you wanna know, to tell the tests and to see if they're done, you pick them up, make sure they're hard, and when you squeeze them, if they have a little crunch to them, just like, you can hear that, do one more. They're all done. So they're not mushy or anything like that. They're good to go. And we're going to put them in the canning jars and wrap up this video. I'll be right back. All right, a little trick here. Once you take and empty out all your trays, empty them into a piece of aluminum foil. All right. Now you may have a big funnel or something that you can take and put into your jar. But instead of trying to empty each tray, okay, instead of trying to e empty each tray and then transfer it into here, 
it becomes a mess. So if you empty it into a piece of aluminum foil, at that point, what you also want to do is, very important, if you do notice that there are any pieces in here that didn't dehydrate, that may still be damp, that aren't crunchy, or anything else, you want to go through and check them out and pull those out and throw them in the trash. This way it doesn't contaminate your dehydration. Okay, now what you're going to do is take this and we're going to pour it right into there. Okay, okay, folks, so we did. We just take and just poured it from there into here, and I am astonished that we got one full large mouth canning jar completely full from four bags of green beans. Look at that. I'm amazed. Now I'm going to do is, like I've done in all my previous videos, I'm going to put a lid on here, vacuum seal it, put the date on it, and I'm done. So this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and this was green beans. Very simple, very easy to do, anybody could do it. So buy yourself a dehydrator and get dehydrating, folks. It's an easy way to put away some fruits, vegetables, even some meats and stuff. And this stuff is going to last, if you store it in a cool, dry place, 15 years or more. So. Till next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.